Hello all this is Dr. Dheeraj Masapu I am an anesthesiologist and uh, sub specialized in neuroanesthesiology so previously i have done a video on how to select a thesis topic in anesthesiology so this video is a continuation to that so in that particular video i spoke about how to come to a po- topic in anesthesiology and today i am going to tell you once you decide a topic how to do the review of literature in that so there is a process to that i will going i am going to explain that to you so number 1 is uh, database so which database you have to search so i would suggest pubmed it is also called as medline and uh, since it is easily accessible and available to everyone first you need to start your uh, search in pubmed so pubmed has a uh, in a normal search and advanced search so i suggest you to go into the advanced search and then search your topic so for example in the uh, video which i have done before i explained about i took a sample thesis topic like a brain bulge and a comparison between different anesthetics so the same topic we will try to see in advanced search of pubmed how it is going to come so that you get an idea so just type pubmed and then you go into the advanced you can see advanced option here and then the search item brain bulge and then you click here add sorry add it see you can see it is added here and then i'll type anesthesia and anesthesia so it will come as brain bulge and anesthesia you can go for search so several topics open up like this so a total of around in the two pages so total around 16 topics have opened up so what you need to do is you have to go through all the 16 topics so for example the first one i'm going to open the first one would be mostly the most related one and it is comparison of total intravenous anesthesia versus inhalational anesthesia on brain relaxation and intracranial pressure and hemodynamics so this is like uh, very appropriate for the study which i am going to do and uh, i would full text link is there in springa so but the thing is full text is not there you need to buy this article for a price of 39.95 euros i am not going to buy this because i don't want to spend so much money on buying this article so i am going to tell you how you actually can download this article but wait for some time i'll tell you there are some portals to do that if you are actually uh, studying in uh, central institute like nimhans where i studied we had access to all the databases and all these articles were actually opening there but i know most of you are studying in places where you don't have actually access to so many journals and articles so you need to use these portals to download there is no other way so like this first the step is you have to download all the related articles see this is another article intracranial pressure and cerebral hemodynamics and cerebral tumors so this also i would like to download a prospective comparative trial of three anesthetics in supraglottic enteral surgery this also i would like to download so all the studies i am going to download and read them so usually what happens is uh, there there won't be some hundred studies in that area when i did my thesis in uh, dm uh, i did a study on refractive status epilepticus it is published it is there in uh, ijccm so for that particular study when i was doing review of literature around 7 to 8 articles were there so those 7 to 8 articles we have to go through in detail only then you can form your methodology and the most related article you need to send to the statistician based on which the sample has will be calculated that i told you in the previous video so once you download all the once you come to a conclusion of what all articles you need to be downloading then make a list of them in a separate word document okay so in for this particular uh, a study which i am doing as a sample around 16 articles i have to download so these 16 articles after collecting you need to download it 
so how to download i'll show you so you need to go to google and so before going into uh, you know downloading the articles i would like to tell you most of the articles are not open access open access means that the journal uh, will actually allow you to download the article and go through but many of the journals are actually not allowing you to download and if you really want to buy it is some 30 dollars 40 dollars or 30 euros or something like that who would actually buy you know one article for 30 dollars it's really crazy insane so i am not going to buy so and most of the institutions in india don't have access to journals so that is a problem but there is one article uh, which is published recently in uh, so this is one article you can see it is published in december 2022 in anesthesia and analgesia very reputed journal so they did a survey of all the open access websites uh, which are presently available for anesthesia so they made a list i'll show you so I will put the link of this particular article in the description, you can go through. So there are th totally 37, uh, I don't call it article journals, there are totally 37 websites from where you can actually download the open access journals. Uh, these are the list, anesthesia.blog, Accra Anesthesiology News, frca.co.uk and there are some Indian uh, and one is Neuroanesthesiology, our, our particular journal, SNAC. You can download the articles from there. And uh, USRA, World Federation of Society of Anesthesia. So these are the few websites from, and the list continues. Mysora is there, Open Airway, Race is also there, Ramachandra Learning, uh, Ramachandra Anesthesia Continuous Education. So this is another website like that these are the these are the actually list of websites from where you can actually download journals so there are only 37 but there are hundreds of anesthesia journals but none of them are free or open access most of them you have to buy so this is about the open access so let's go and download it so to download any particular uh, this thing you have to go to a website called sci-hub and click on Sci Hub. So, so this is the website which opens up like this. You need to enter DOI date of issue for this particular journal. So here the DOI is there. You copy this and paste it here. And paste it and open. I hope it will open. <laughs> Yeah, it opened up, you can see. So this is the full article. It is present, you can just download it. You can just click and save and download the article in Sahib. And uh, sometimes this particular website, I don't know whether some people call it illegal, some, I don't know, the, uh, some Russians actually made this website, I've gone through the details of this particular website. Some <laughs> parts of the year it will be blocked. So for that, uh, there is an alternative. to Sahib Telegram is also there. So you can download a telegram channel, you can just put Sci-Hub, telegram will come. In the telegram, if you put the DOI, they will send you the article. So these are the different ways you can download. Along with this, there are another websites also called as Library Genesis. So Library Genesis, uh, the links of these I will put in the description. Library Genesis is another uh, web portal like Sci-Hub where you can uh, download the open access journals. I tried doing it but you know if you have a strong antivirus uh, like mine, McAfee, it doesn't allow the Library Genesis. So it's better to uh, go, you know if Sci-Hub is not working, go to Library Genesis in a, uh, you know, some uh, internet cafe or somewhere where uh, you can actually access it download the journals and the third one is core.ac.uk is another uh, portal like uh, you know sci-hub and even there you can actually download but for this core.ac.uk you need to register and uh, you have to register separately and then once the registration is done you can download in that but first try sci-hub if it's not working then go for these three links i'll keep in the description so after you download all the related articles then you have to go through all the articles there is no shortcut for that it will take to read 10 to 12 articles how much time would it take maybe two three days but you have to go through that and then i would suggest make a table 
so table how to make is you put the journal and in the excel you have to make the table put the journal and then uh, year of publication and the primary outcome sample size and uh, the secondary outcomes that they searched and uh, significant or not so if you make a table like that and it becomes very easy for you when you are writing the review of literature so you can just see the table and from the table you can just start writing your review of literature and the most related article you have to send it to statistician so there are i don't want to actually talk openly but you know when you are sending an article just look at the standard deviation and the primary outcome if the standard deviation is very high your sample size is going to come in thousands if the standard deviation is low then your sample size is going to be smaller anyway this is a uh, shortcut i don't want to tell you these kind of things but you just send the most closely related article to the statistician and he is going to tell you what is the sample size uh, doing review of literature once you do uh, once you read about the articles read twice or thrice all the most related articles then after that you start writing once you start writing then automatically the flow will come because once you read it twice or thrice you actually imbibe all the information then actually if you see the excel which you made you can start writing automatically so this video is you know continuation to the previous video till review of literature i told you so in the next upcoming videos i would explain how to actually once you collect the data i will do a video on how to collect the data what are the easy ways of collecting the data and how to save the data and uh, i don't suggest saving the data in a paper form you uh, as soon as you collect the data try to enter it in the excel on the day so that makes your job easier and also when you're entering the data there there are some easy steps you need to incorporate because most of the data that you are collecting will be analyzed by spss software by statistician so at the end of it your statistician will tell you to convert everything into zero one or something like that so only then the spss will actually analyze it so when you're collecting the data you uh, have to convert it into zero one or s or no or some simpler terms like that i'll tell you when uh, you know i make a video on how to actually collect the data and save it so that is about this guys hope uh, you like this video and if you want to connect to me uh, instagram is the location so my id is masapudiraj and uh, you put a message i'll reply to that i reply to each and every person till now Uh, that's it for today so dr dhiraj masapur logging off roger that